What's up guys? Do you have a LS swapped anything that maybe somebody else did and maybe didn't do all the steps that they should have? If you're wondering how to troubleshoot an LS engine swap, you need to wire in an OBD2 port. I know it's kind of hard to see here, but there it is. So on a Gen 3 Chev, GM, PCM, ECU, whatever you want to call it, computer. Pin number 57 and 58. So when you pull this cover off, you can see all your numbers, all the pin out numbers. And you're looking for 57, 58. 90% of the time, it's an orange green. Sorry, orange and green wire. So you see, we got the orange and the green. And we just did a quick tie into this because. This is not my unit, but I'm helping a friend gear it up for the races. Um, when they did the LS swap, they didn't wire this in. The motor developed troubles. No way of scanning it, so you're just shooting in the dark. So I told him the first thing we need to do is wire this in. So number 57 and 58, you're looking for a solid orange wire. The orange is the power. Green is the messages from the computer and your codes. On the back of your OBD2 port, you have four wires. You have orange, purple. Orange goes to orange. Purple goes to green. You got two blacks. Twist them together and just simply ground them. Once you do that, then it's just a matter of having a scanner. Once this is done, the scanner now powers up and you're able to pull codes. So anytime I do an LS swap, I always put that in there because this just saves you trouble. So that's my tip for the day. Number 57, 58, two grounds, pretty straightforward. Gen 3, Chev, GM, PCM.